it's a brand new year. Let's make sure you start it out right. You can take this opportunity to get rid of any habits that aren't working for you and set up some new ones that'll help you reach your goals by the end of this year. Today, I wanna to give you some tips on how to do that. Of course, the most important thing is that you are getting your writing time in. And unfortunately, this is also the most challenging thing for most of us. I did a survey on my website, Writing and Wellness, and there was many writers that were telling me, I'm still struggling with this. I can't find time and my life is too busy. It's too crazy. Well, there's a couple problems here. Number one, yes, our lives are busy and our lives are crazy and there's all this stuff going on. We have to make that time. There's not ever going to be time. It's hardly ever going to just open up for you that you're going to have maybe a free weekend. I mean, maybe once every quarter, right? If that. So we have to make it a priority to set a writing time that we can stick with. Maybe it's not every day. Maybe it's every other day. Maybe it's two or three times a week. My point is that you have a fresh start right now. You have a chance to look at your schedule again and say, okay, I need to get serious about this. This has to become a priority. Trust me, even 15 minutes of time is better than none. It will get your brain working on your story. And that's what we must have is the brain's wheels turning on this story. If you leave the writing for several days in a row, your brain forgets about it. And then you lose track of where you were and what you were doing. I always resist this too. I think, no, this is my novel. I want this to be awesome, right? So I have to be ready and inspired and all this stuff. No, 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 that's never gonna happen. So you have to dump all that every time. I've been writing for over 20 years. I still have to remind myself, Colleen, it doesn't have to be perfect. You've got 10 minutes, just sit down and put something down. You can always change it later. How do we manage working on our author platform and still get our writing done? Well, the writing must always come first, so keep that in mind. But then you need to schedule one day a week. It can be half an hour. Maybe it's always on the weekends, but you need to also be consistently putting time into your platform if you expect to bring readers towards you. This also requires regularly sustained practice. Example from me, every Monday night I write a blog. Uh, there are other times and I'll do other activities, but every Monday night without fail, I will write a blog for writing a wellness. If you can establish something like that, it can be a blog, it can be a video, it can be sending out proposals to be a podcast guest on someone else's podcast. You need to be doing something. Maybe it's revamping your website. So every Monday night, you're looking at your website and you're saying, okay, what I wanna change? And you're starting to make steps toward that. Have a time every week that is designated for your author platform work. Do you have the equipment that you need? Is it comfortable? Are you experiencing a lot of pain after your writing? If that's the case, you need to make some changes. Make sure that you have a good comfortable chair, you have a cushion on it if you need to, to save your back. You've got good equipment as far as your computer goes. You've got a good keyboard, which I'm gonna talk about in another video, the kind of keyboard that, that can help save you from developing hand and wrist pain. You've got a good printer, so you can print out your drafts and then review them on paper. That usually helps find more mistakes. I, do, I know it does for me. You've got good lighting. You've got a way to stand up and sit down so that you're not sitting or standing the whole time. This is more important than you may realize. A lot of writers think, well, you know, I just need a desk and a chair. But we need this area to be inviting for us. We need to feel like this is an area we like to be because that will help inspire us to come there and to work on a regular basis. If you're in a place that where you've got distractions and your equipment's not working right, maybe your computer is stalling, that can all really discourage you and mess up your regular practice toward your writing goals. <laughs> I hear from writers a lot of frustration because they're in the middle of their story and it's not working and they don't know how to fix it. Or they've got this plot that's gone off the rails and they're not sure how to get it back where it needs to be. I think sometimes we think, you know, as long as I'm writing, I'm gonna get better. Not necessarily. I mean, regular practice is good and it does often make the writing flow more easily, but it's not necessarily gonna make you better at things like dialogue, characterization, setting, pacing, all those things that are part of the writing craft. And a lot of times writers don't really connect that. If you are learning to play piano, 
you wouldn't think you could do that well without learning proper technique, right? You have to learn how to count your rhythms. You have to learn where to place your fingers. You have to learn the techniques of doing scales and arpeggios. We know this instinctively when it comes to something like playing piano, but we don't really think of it when it comes to things like writing a book. A writing a book is a craft as well, and there are certain standards that go along with how do you create a good story? How do you create good pacing? How do you make this plot work? And if you're struggling with something like that, then the only answer is to educate yourself. Strongly recommend that you hire a book editor or a book coach to help you through a trouble spot. You could always take online workshops. You can go to in-person conferences. You can buy books. There's lots of books out there that are really helpful. We're frustrated because the vision we have for this story is not matching what the story actually is on the paper. We want to bring those two things closer together. And the way to do that is through education. I was just talking about educating yourself by hiring a book coach or editor or taking a workshop or going to a conference. All those things take money. And this is one thing that writers, particularly beginning writers, but even sometimes experienced writers don't think about. And then there comes up that conference and you're like, oh geez, I'd love to do that conference, but I can't afford it. Oh, that's the worst reason not to do it. For something as important as writing, which I'm assuming it's really important to you if you're watching this video, for something this important in your writing, you absolutely must give yourself permission to invest in yourself. This is the way to making your dreams come true. And it does take investment. I've been investing in this thing for the whole 20 years I've been in it. And every time I felt like I couldn't afford it, every time I went to a workshop, every time I went to a conference, every time I hired an editor, oh my gosh, I can't afford this. But somehow if you are of the mindset that investing in your writing is important. And most of the time, that's the hardest hurdle to get over. That yes, I'm worth it. That yes, my writing is worth it. Then start putting the money aside so that you're not shell-shocked, you know, when it's time to spend something on a coach or a workshop or whatever it is that you think is necessary next. We're talking about something that's very important to you. Honestly, what better investment could you make than in your own education and in your own personal betterment? I would strongly encourage you, if you want to reach your goals by the end of this year, start putting money aside now. <music> Quick review to start this year off right so that you reach your writing goals by the end of this year. Make sure that you have a writing time that's working for you. Make sure you're spending at least half an hour to an hour on your author platform. That should be a consistent practice for you. Make sure your writing nook is working for you, that you have all the equipment that you need. Keep educating yourself. Do what you need to to become a better writer. And finally, start putting some money aside that you can then use whenever you need it for your writing. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit the like button, and I am wishing you all the best for this new year of writing.